One of the most common questions I get asked all the time on how to create Google Shopping campaigns is actually around how to create the product feed for the Google Shopping campaigns. And that's why I've created this video to take you on a step-by-step -step journey on how to create a product feed and get your Google Shopping campaigns up and running. If you're an e-commerce website owner, Google Shopping is a great platform for you to drive quality buying traffic to your website and to help to get more and more sales through AdWords. However, creating a product feed, if you're not sure what to do, can be quite a daunting task. So I hope this video helps you and shows you how to create the product feed, how to create the Google Shopping campaigns and get you up and running. However, if you've got any questions, please leave them below in the comments section and I'll get back to you. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up a Google Shopping product feed for WooCommerce websites. There's five steps in this process towards making a Google product shopping feed. And once you know how to do it, I think it'll take you about 10 minutes to do. The first step is actually creating the product feed. Once we have a product feed, we're going to upload that into what's known as the Google Merchant Center. This is where the product feed will be hosted and it's where we can also manage our Google product shopping feeds. Once we have created a Google Shopping product feed and created a Google Merchant Center account, we're going to upload the product feed to the Google Merchant Center. And the next step involves linking your Google Merchant Center account with your AdWords account so that you can use the product feed in your Google Shopping campaigns, which you will manage from your Google AdWords account. And then once that's done, we can start building our Google Shopping campaigns. So that's the five steps involved. Let's look at how we carry out each of those five steps. Firstly, you will need to log in to the back end of your website and navigate to the plugins tab. Select add new plugin. On the right hand side, search for the product feed pro for WooCommerce plugin. So with this plugin, it is possible to generate WooCommerce product fields for all your marketing channels, such as Google Shopping, Facebook Remarketing, Bing Ads, and more. This is a complete plugin offering support for unlimited number of product and feeds, including features such as category, field mapping, advanced rule-based filtering, and product variable support. As you can see on the right-hand side, there's 336 ratings, all with five star. It also has over 20,000 active installations, so it's quite a popular plugin. It will certainly do the job for creating your Google Shopping product feed. Next, you will need to press the Install Now button. I have already installed this plugin, so for me it shows that it is active, but for you it will say Install Now. Click Install Now and then also activate the plugin. After installing and activating the plugin, you'll need to navigate to the Create Feed section. Here you will enter the file name, the format and the channel page. Firstly, you must enter a project name. Make sure you create a unique project name, especially when you'll create multiple feeds. You should make sure your product is easily recognisable. So next you'll need to select the country for which you'll be creating a product feed. Once you have selected a country, the channel drop down below will automatically populate with marketing channels that are active in that specific country. Next, select the channel for which you want to create a product feed. In most cases, this will be Google Shopping. Next is the file format option. You can create product feeds in multiple formats, CSV, TXT and XML. As XML is the least prone to errors, I strongly advise that you put the file format on XML. Next is the refresh interval. You can tell the plugin to update your product feed for Google Shopping on a daily, twice daily or hourly interval. The one you select all depends on how often your product data is changing. Are you selling lots of products and are changing prices multiple times a day? If so, then I advise you to update the product feed on an hourly interval. Next, hit the save and continue button when you've filled in all the fields and are ready to move on to the field mapping page. On the field mapping page, you need to map Google's fields to your WooCommerce attributes. By default, the plugin tries to pre-map as much fields as possible. This is why some of the mappings have already been done for you when you open up the field mapping page. 
The default fields shown on the mapping page are Google's required fields, so I strongly advise that you add them to your feed. The next page is the category mapping page. Here you will need to inform Google into what product categories your products belong. As your, categor as your categorization most likely is not identical to Google's taxonomy, you need to map your categories to Google's. On the left hand side of this screen you will find a list of your categories. On the right hand side of the screen you can choose to map those to Google's categories. All you have to do is start typing and the plugin will auto suggest to what Google category you need to map your category. Although this is not required by Google, I strongly advise to map all your categories as it will increase the chances of the products being shown. On the next page is Feed, Filters and Rules page. So if you have a reason why you do not want all your products in your product feed, this is where you can set a filter to only show certain products. However, for this tutorial, we are going to advertise all products. So hit the continue button when you are done and you will be taken to the last step of your feed configuration. This is the last step of your product feed configuration. You have set up a product feed and your campaign is almost up and running. However, it is important to track results from any Google Shopping campaign that you run. And this plugin offers you the option to add UTM tracking parameters to the end of your URLs to help with conversion tracking. So when conversion tracking is enabled, the plugin will track sales coming from your different marketing channels. The values of the UTM parameters are pre-populated with the type of campaign, which is Google Shopping, the medium, which is cost per click, the campaign name, and also it uses the UTM term parameter to enter the product ID of what's been advertised. You'll be able to find information on this in Google Analytics. Once done, hit the generate product feed when you are ready. The plugin will take you to the manage feed section of the plugin and immediately start processing your data. When the feed generation is done, the status will change to ready. Now that we've created a feed for your products, we will need to create a Google Merchant Center account. Once you've created a Google Merchant Center account and logged in, use the menu on the left hand side. Select products, next select feeds, and then select add a primary feed by using the big blue plus button. Select your country of sale and a language. Enter the primary feed name and select schedule fetch option and select continue. Next, enter the file name of the Google Shopping product feed. Indicate what time and how often you want your product feed to be fetched by Google. Now, go back to the Product Feed Pro plugin and the Manage Feed options. Next to the status of your Google Shopping feed is the option to download the product feed. When you click this, it will open up an XML file. Take the URL of this file and enter it in the file URL page on the Google Merchant Center account. And that's it, you've just created your first Google Shopping product feed and told Google where to get your products from. Now the product feed normally takes uh, a few hours to process. If you click into the product shopping feed, you will see that the feed is not ready yet. And it can take a few minutes to process. Here's another feed that I created earlier. As we'll see, the processing is done and 11 items are ready to be advertised. Once processed, your products will appear in the products tab. Use the Diagnostics tab to make sure that there are no disapproved items and that all items are active. Ok, just a few more things to look at before we're done. Before the items can go live, you will need to enter the shipping and returns information. 
Sometimes this may be included in your product feed. However, if not, your items will be disapproved and cannot go live until this is fixed. Here's an example of one that I did earlier, which has UK first class postage. The service area being the United Kingdom, and the currency being the Great British Pound. You need to have an order cutoff time stated, a handling time stated, and a transit time. Once you've entered this information, select save. And your item should be approved. One more step involves linking your AdWords account with your Google Merchant Centre account. This option can be found in the settings and linked account menu. To link a Google AdWords account, select link accounts in the second box on the screen. Next, you will need to enter your Google Ads customer ID for the Google AdWords account that you want to create a shopping campaign for. To find your Google Ads customer ID, go to your AdWords account and on the top left hand side, next to the account name, you will see the ID. Copy this and paste it into the Google Ads customer ID in the Google Merchant Center and hit send link request. Next, the, the account link needs to be confirmed in Google Ads. If you go back to your Google Ads account, sometimes there's a notification on the top right hand side which will say one Merchant Center account link request pending. If you press view, you will be able to accept the invite from there. However, if you don't have a notification, there is another way to do this. Go to Tools and Settings, Linked Accounts, scroll down to Google Merchant Center, select Details. Here you'll see there's a pending invite, select View Details and Approve. That's it, you've now linked your Google Merchant Center with your Google AdWords account. You're now ready to start creating Google Shopping campaigns. To do this, select New Campaign, Sales, select Shopping Campaign Type. If you see that there is no linked account here, just refresh your page and your Google Merchant Center account should appear. Select Standard Shopping Campaign and continue. Enter a campaign name. Select your bidding strategy. I will go for manual CPC for now with enhanced CPC selected. Give the campaign a budget, which I will choose at £10. And select and next select a campaign priority. If you have multiple campaigns with one product, use campaign priority to decide which campaign's bid will be used. For example, if you have shopping campaign 1 and shopping campaign 2, which both contain a pair of red night trainers, the campaign with the highest priority will be used for advertising that product. Next review your targeting settings. I generally unselect Google Search Partners and YouTube for my Google Shopping campaigns. The reason for this being that I want to advertise only on the Google Search Results page and not YouTube and not the Search Partners. Generally I find the best results come from advertising on the Google Search Results page, hence I want to focus my budget here. Select your location, of, select your location that you'd like to target. Select an end date if required, if not, leave as none for an ongoing campaign. Now that we've created our campaign, we need to create our ad group. I will call this one All Products and I will set my bid for the products at 50p. Save. In the product group column, you will be able to see how many products have been submitted how many have been approved, how many are active and how many are ready to serve. If all is working correctly, there should be 100% of products ready to serve. 
If there are any errors, go back to the diagnostic tab in your Google Merchant Center account and follow the instructions there to fix your product feed. Now this is obviously a very basic Google Shopping campaign, targeting all products. However, there are more advanced Google Shopping strategies, which we will go through in another video.